Hi, Bill. This is uh, Pooja Talwar from Good Times India. They call you the man who is a genius when it comes to writing humor. Oh, too so much. First, too nice. What's the secret to your pen? Ha! Huh. The, uh, what's the secret to my, all right. So I think anybody that says the secret is just how good I am at it is, 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 you know, not, is not being modest enough. The, the secret is you surround yourself with talented young men and women from all walks of life, actors, writers, cameramen, camera women, sound people. And then you spend years of your life taking credit for their work. That's, that's the game. Awesome, but you know, shrinking. I really enjoyed it because I think in the past two years, each one of us at some state has visited a therapist. And you know, it's I like the fact that this therapist is someone who is as messed up, maybe not more than the people he's dealing with. How did this come about? And what a fantastic cast. I've never seen Harrison Ford play the character that he is. Oh, that's so it's so nice. I appreciate the nice things you said. Look, the uh you, you, writers always try to uh, combine their own narcissism, and a lot of us see therapists, with trying to gauge what's going on in the world right now. And uh, Brett Goldstein, who I wrote this with, and Jason Siegel, um, you know, we're all very familiar with therapy, and we just noticed that coming in a post-pandemic world that there's many, many people dealing with grief. You know, and uh, everybody tangentially, whether it's a relative or someone that got sick or economic hardship, it's just pervasive. And uh, for us, we're not sure if it's going to work, but to write a show, a comedic show about grief, about going from the dark to the light, you know, is a, is a, a, a fun challenge. Uh, we hope people go along for the ride. And for us, whether they do or not, the experience is amazing because we got crusty grumpy Harrison Ford to do it with us. And he's so, you know, he hasn't gotten to do a ton of straight television comedy. He's so good. And the fact that he signed on is a, a career highlight for me. And he gets even better and better as the show goes. It's just a fantastic guy to work with. Imagine Indiana Jones like that. The oh, I know, was. right? I look, I, <laughs> I, 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 I'm a, you know, I've been doing this forever. I'm, you know, I've been doing this for 30 years. And I thought my career highlights were over. But I started my career, the first show I created, I got to tell Michael J. Fox what to say. And uh, you know, it blew my mind because I was 26 years old and I'd grown up watching him. And, uh, and now to come full circle and be standing with Harrison Ford telling him how I think he should do a joke, it's so fun. I'm very lucky. Awesome. And lastly, what is it like working with your wife? Uh, all right, yeah, working with my wife, it is, uh, I'll do the funny answer and then the real answer. <laughs> <laughs> the funny answer, I hope, because my wife's characters always have a bit of edge. And I, I often tell people uh, that she's slightly meaner in real life. But um, the, no, I'm joking. The real answer is I find it incredibly inspiring. She's super talented. It's so lovely to watch her do something like this because she's, you know, everybody gets into the personal. My wife uh, uh, took care of my three children and kind of backed away from the business and allowed me to keep grinding and doing it for a couple of years. So to see her back doing what she's so good at, uh, I'm so proud of her and so happy for her. But even if I didn't know her, I would think she was killing it. Awesome. Thank you so much and uh, all the very best. Uh, thank you for Hope being so kind. You. I will talk to you soon. Have a great holiday. Thank you. To you too.